Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your hazy headlights go from looking like this to this. Okay, so what will you need? So you're going to need some sandpaper. Now, I picked up this pack. It comes with all sorts of sandpaper. I'll put a link for it in the description. It's about 8 bucks on Amazon. So we're going to be using um, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, 1500, and 2000. My idea here is the less of a jump we go in between grits, the better result we're going to have. And we also need some masking tape just to mask off our car. Um, some sort of black trash bag or plastic is going to be useful for covering up the car once we do the painting. And now we're going to be coating these once they're sanded. We're going to go to 2000 grit. Uh, we want to leave it rough enough that the paint can adhere to something. So we're going to be using a 2K Clear Glamour. Uh, this is by Spray Max. Now this is interesting. Uh, these are quite expensive, like 22 bucks a can, but it's a two-part clear coat. So you actually puncture this, you stick that red cap on it, um, and then that releases another thing inside the can, and this will be good for 48 hours. So it's basically a hardener. And then finally we will also need just a, a spray bottle with some water since we will be wet sanding. Now the problem with these headlight renewal kits, like this mother's kit you see here, is they don't have any way to protect the headlight from UV rays and even if they do have some sort of sealant it usually wears off in about the time period of the car wax. Now these will work great for a while but after about six months to a year your headlights are going to be looking like this again. Now the, the good thing about this clear coat we're going to be using is it's UV resistant just like the outside of your car It's basically the same stuff that's on your paint. Now this isn't going to yellow near as fast. Now eventually it will maybe five to ten years down the road, but you're going to get a much, much longer life out of this and these headlights as opposed to if you use one of these restore kits. Step one, mask off your car headlight. Now, if you can take the headlight assemblies out of the car, go ahead and do so. That will make this process a whole lot easier. But in the case of this Mercedes-Benz, that is quite difficult to do. So we are going to be leaving them in. Step two, so go ahead and spray down the headlights, get them nice and wet, and then give them a wipe down. We want to clean off any bugs or residue that's left on there from driving. Step three. So now we're going to begin the sanding process. Now my headlights have a lot of hazing here, some down here, not so much in the middle. But I'm going to be starting off with the 600 grit. Depending on how worn your headlights are, you may need to go uh, lower or if they're just slightly hazed, you could probably get away with starting off with like the 800. So we're going to wet this down, get it nice and damp. Remember, you also want to go ahead and wet your sandpaper. Since we're going to be wet sanding, we don't want any dry components here. Go ahead and take your sandpaper and we're just going to go in a swirling motion. Now, as you'll see, there's some hazy liquid coming off of here. That yellowy liquid is what we're trying to take off. So you want to keep wetting this down from time to time. Get it nice and wet again, then just continue. Now we will continue with the 600 grit until that starts to turn white. That yellowy, creamy liquid coming off there, that should turn white. Now my headlights were actually a little bit worse than I thought, so I'm going to be stepping down to a 400 grit just to get this haze off the top. Okay, so now that we have a nice even finish with the 400 grit, we're actually going to do our final strokes horizontal. Um, and then after that, we'll move on to the 600. One thing to make note of, at this stage, when you're working with these grits, uh, or really any of them, but especially the, the lower ones like the 400 and 600, any uneven or imperfection uh, in this headlight is going to be visible in the final product. So you want this to be as smooth and even as possible like we have here. So this smooth haze, now it's okay, it's not going to be shiny yet. That's when we go up in the grits, it's going to get less hazy. Um, and then finally with that clear coat, we're going, going to have that nice shine. Okay, so now that we've finished off with the 2000 grit, everything's looking very even, smooth, just a nice even, very slight haze. Now you do still want to see that. You don't want them shiny yet. Now we could continue on to 2,500 and 3,000 and polish these and make them look nice and shiny. But the point of this clear coat we're going to use is going to make them last. Step four. 
Okay, so now that we've finished the sanding process, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and wipe down this headlight assembly. This is just going to remove any oil or residue that could be left on here and prepare this for our clear coat. Just get the whole thing. That should be good. Now also, as you may be able to see, I've taken two trash bags um, and cut them up and taped over all of this. So I just taped over the, the masking tape we already had on here for the headlight. And now we should be protected. Now you don't want to get this clear coat on any of your other paint or really anything in the area. So it, I think it's ready now. If you're considering doing this on the car with the headlights on the car, I do not recommend it. I use these trash bags and they protected the part of the car they covered, but I got overspray on my whole car, even the back window. So I spent last night using clay bar in the car to remove all of that. So I definitely recommend, even if you have to take the bumper off like on a car like this, go ahead and remove the headlights. Unless you're going to mask off your whole entire car, it's just going to make your life a lot easier in the end. Step five. Okay, so for this clear coat, we've got the red thing on the bottom, so I'm going to puncture it. And now we're just going to check it up right here. Okay, so our first coat, we're going to do a very light coat, and we are going to do a total of three coats and progress to a heavier coat as we get closer to the last. There we go, that's good enough for our first coat. Now we're gonna wait two or three minutes and come back and do another one. Okay, so it's been about two or three minutes. So now I'm gonna come back and do the second coat. Now I'm going to go on a little bit thicker on this coat, but not, not too much yet. There we go, starting to look a little bit better. Still see a lot of orange peel, but hopefully that'll come out in our third coat and now we can also do a fourth coat if, if we desire. Okay, now we're ready for our third coat. So this coat is going to be a little bit thicker than the rest of them. There we go, much better. I, I think I might go ahead and do a fourth one, but that's, we have a little bit less orange peel now. And now if any of this orange peel still stays here, um, we can actually wet sand that off afterwards. But this is looking awesome. Now just for curiosity, let's compare that to the, this side that hasn't been done yet. You can see all that hazing. This is going to look great once it's done. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and do a fourth coat. Again, this is going to be quite thick. Um, just to get, well, the center is looking great. We have a little bit of orange peel around the edge and I think I can get rid of that. There we go, that's looking pretty fantastic. Now once this dries, we can actually go ahead and polish this because this finish is going to be very similar to the finish on your car and we might actually want to wait like a week or so for this to fully cure before we do that. Okay, so this is the day after we have both sides done. Now at this point, they look very nice and clear. Uh, you can see some imperfections probably to do with the sanding or things that might have been there before, but overall they look a whole lot better than they did. Now at this point, there's two options. One, we can leave them like this. They're going to be protected from the sun and they're going to continue to look like this. Or we can wait about a week and wet sand them again and, and then polish them. Uh, now we would want to do the wet sanding with a very high grit, like a 3000 grit. And then we could polish them with a, a buffing wheel and that will give us the best possible shine. Uh, so for this video, we're just going to end it here. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up and I will see everyone in the next video.